Hello and welcome to a, another tutorial just to show you the new mid-tone contrast plugin. The contrast as the name implies will create contrast just targeting the mid-tone areas of the image. The plugin is extremely easy to use, it only consists of two elements. We have a button where we can apply the contrast and then we have a strength slider which we can use to decrease or increase the overall strength. The plugin is only going to target the main areas of the mid-tones. It also has a roll off part of the curve where at the bottom end we don't want to add contrast to the deep shadows and we don't really want to add contrast to the bright highlights. So rather than having an abrupt start and an abrupt end, it actually rolls off on either end to give us that smooth transition as we're applying that mid-tone contrast. And the section in the middle of the curve, this is what's going to accept or receive the maximum impact of that mid-tone contrast. To use the plugin, all we do is we select an image, and then we open up the plugin, and I'm just going to press the Apply Mid-tone Contrast button. If we look in the layers panel, it's creating a mid-tone contrast layer. It sets a standard radius or strength of the plugin effect to 35, but depending on the sensor size that you're using, you're going to have to adjust this up or down to get the overall effect that you're looking for. So I'm just going to increase the overall strength of this so we can see the effect. I'll turn it on and off. So it's actually targeting just those mid-tone areas. And we're actually preserving the deep shadows and the bright highlights. So we can adjust it to taste. It's a very simple process. We'll look at one more image. This is an image of a close-up of a tree that was taken on film. So let's apply some mid-tone contrast to this. Again, just pressing the button, it's going to create that layer for us. And all that we need to do is adjust the contrast to taste. So let's look at a before and after. So it really does enhance the mid-tones. And the plugin is extremely lightweight and so simple to use. It's perfect for anybody that wants to have a quick access to apply that clarity look that we see in Lightroom, which is not currently available in Photoshop. It can be used on both colour and black and white images. So it's quite a versatile plugin. The plugin is now available on the website and I'll leave a link in the description as to where it can be obtained from. So that's just a very short introduction onto how to use the new Midtone Contrast plugin which has been designed for Photoshop version 24 and newer and it's currently available for both the Mac and the Windows operating system. So until next time, thank you for watching and bye for now.